Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Tuesday, August the 17th of 2021. <clears throat> we begin with a reading from Eugene Peterson's God's Message for each day. Abba is an Aramaic word, the native speech of Jesus. Abba means father, but in a colloquial, intimate sense. The nearest equivalent in our language is daddy or perhaps papa. In Christ, we are introduced into an unprecedented intimacy with God. Nowhere in the Old Testament do we find God addressed as Father. But Jesus always addressed God in this way in his prayers. The gift of being a child of God confers the privilege of the child to address the Father with intimacy. Our prayers this evening come from the Celtic Psalter, Sounds of the Eternal, by Philip Newell. <clears throat> Let us pray. At the ending of the day, in the darkness of the night, I seek an inner assurance of your presence, O God. My body is still and my soul is silent as I listen for the renewing springs of your spirit deep in the ground of my being, and in earth's quietness all around me. Guide me to the wellsprings of health in the landscape of my soul, and to the hidden reservoirs of strength in the people and places of my life, that I may be made well this night, that I may be made well. Amen. <clears throat> Our first scripture reading is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 14. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children, through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. <clears throat> in him we have redemption through his blood, the, for the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we who were the first to set our hope on Christ might live for the praise of his glory. In him, you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. <clears throat> and from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they, all, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me that they may become completely one so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.
Our reading this evening <clears throat> comes from the daily devotional, Fill Me With Hope, Classic Christian Writings. And our reading today was written by Robert Murray McShane. Blessed Adoption. The moment you become a child, the Father loves you. This is shown in what Christ said to Mary. I ascend unto my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Christ here intimated that we have the same love that he had. We have not got so much of the love of the Father as Christ because he has got an infinite capacity, but it is the same love. Christ plainly shows you that in the instant Christ plainly shows you that in the 17th chapter of John, where he prays that the same love may be in us that was in him. Oh, how much better is it then to be under the love of God than under the wrath of God? Let me mention to you a second part of the blessedness we get. The Spirit of the Son dwells in us. You will see this in Galatians 4, 6. Because you are children... God has sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Brothers and sisters, when Christ comes, the first thing he does is to redeem you from under the curse of the law, and then he makes you a child of God. It is sweet to get the love of Christ, but I will tell you what is equally as sweet, that is, to receive the Spirit of Christ. He has, give, has he given you the Spirit? He will do it, if you are his child, that you may be made to cry, Abba, Father. <clears throat> Let us pray. Thanks be to you, O God, for the strong arm of those who have given me shelter in my life, who loved me from the womb and carried me as a child, who guarded me like watchful angels and wept when I was in pain. Thanks be to you for the men and women whose passion for the poor is undying, whose prayer for the oppressed is tender, whose defense of the wronged is fierce. Grant me the strength to cry for justice, to be patient for peace, to be angry for love. Grant me the grace of a strong soul, O God. Grant me the grace to be strong. Lord, we recall the events of this day and we pray for the life of the world. And as we close today, we do so with these words. It is in sleeping that my body is refreshed. It is in letting go that my soul is revived. It is in dying that I am born anew. Bless to me my sleeping, O God. Bless to me my letting go. Bless to me my dying. That tonight I may enter your stillness. That tomorrow I may awake renewed. That in the end I may be fully alive to you. Tonight, Tomorrow, and always, O oh God, may I be truly alive to you. Amen. God bless you this night and keep you safe until the morning and give you strength for the day ahead. Good night. <clears throat>